This is a micro switch and it's the type that's a momentary contact. Uh, it's got normally open, normally closed, and then in common. This one came out of my mouse. I believe it was the left mouse button. Yeah, it started having the double click issue, so I replaced it, unsoldered it, and replaced it with a new one. Let's get down in close and take this apart and see what's going on inside. Okay, I've gotten in as close as we dare. Uh, much closer, can't get my hands between the lens and the work surface. It looks like there's a catch on both ends and I expect it to come flying apart when I uh, unclip this. Let's see if I can keep it on camera. Whoa! Well, that, that was permanent. Looks like I won't be cleaning it up and putting it back together. Nope. Not at all. Okay, and then it looks like it separates right along there. I will probably have to... Oops, there we go. Let's see. My hands are getting in the way. This is the top piece. You can see these two ears that I pried apart to get the top off. There's the white piece that when you push down on the mouse button, it activates the switch. And then that's just the rest of the case right there. This is the electrical part of the switch. You can see this upper piece. This acts as a spring. And let's roll a little bit sideways so we can see what's going on. That little black point right there, that's actually the electrical contact. And it goes between the normally closed contact, which is this piece up here. Uh, and it goes down and it touches the normally closed, normally open rather, part down there. And then you can see the three connections on the bottom, one, two, three. Uh, it's the common and then the normally open, normally closed points that get soldered into the mouse or whatever project you're using it for. So spring points, and then if I can get this in here, you can see the contacts open and close. And why these go bad is it's usually one of two things. It's either mechanical wear on the points or you'll get arcing and the arcing will create an oxide, which, uh, well, that's uh, usually a high resistance byproduct and yeah it interferes with the flow of electricity the clean flow of electricity so that becomes an issue okay so that is the the uh, electrical part of this and that's pretty much all there is to it the spring the contacts normally closed normally open and done well i hope you found that useful and interesting in your home diy electronics projects